What's up guys? Nerdy Noob here and welcome back to another unboxing video. Okay, here's the thing. I'm really, really, really excited about this, but you guys are going to kill me when you find out how much I spent on this. Uh, in this video, we are going to be unboxing the Walgreens mystery box. This is a Pokemon mystery box that was released at Walgreens a like maybe a week or two ago. This is like the one of the hottest commodities. I have been calling Walgreens every day and checking, I don't have too many Walgreens around me, but I've been checking them um, quite often and they never have them. And I really wanted to at least open one of these. And here's the thing, I think, I don't even know what this costs retail. I'm gonna assume like $20 or $25. I have no idea because I've never seen them in the store in the wild. Uh, these are, I paid a lot of money for this. I bought this off eBay and I paid way too much money for this. I paid, I ended up paying, uh, I don't want to tell you. Okay, I'm going to tell you. For the sake of this video, I'm going to tell you and then we can see if it's worth it. I can almost, I can tell you now it's probably not going to be worth it, but I paid $70 for this. So I, uh, that's how much they're going for. I, you might be able to find it for 60, but for the most part, um, they're going for like 70, 75, unless you buy multiple. Um, why is everyone going for this one? Pokemon's really big right now, of course. But this mystery box, which I actually have never bought one of these third-party mystery boxes because this is not from Pokemon. This is made by MJ Holding Company. So it's a third-party company that takes things and makes their own things. Um, the reason why this is such a big deal is because there's four booster packs in here. There's four booster packs, one mystery item, one coin, and one online code card. And... Apparently, it's like an actual fact that somebody has pulled a base set pack from this box. What are the chances? Slim. Very slim. But it's, it says look for vintage pack seeds, uh, one out of five. So they say that one out of every five boxes will have some kind of vintage pack. But it could be like an XY vintage pack, like or not XY, like those the ones that are like... I forgot what it was, like Freeze and Plasma, like those ones. It could be that type of vintage. It could be a jungle pack. Um, it could be it could be the base set. It could just be Evolutions, or it could just probably be like Steam Siege, probably. But we're gonna go ahead and try our luck. I don't have too much like hope that there's anything crazy, but one we can like we can internally hope, right? We can pretend. Um, so go, let's go ahead and get, I'm going to get my second camera set up and we can do this. Sorry, my table is very bare because I haven't moved everything down, but here we go. Here's the box. I do want to give a quick shout out and I'll give her another shout out on my live stream, but Rebecca, um, I packed all my stuff actually from my live stream. It's all over there in that bag. Uh, but this is the Zard that we pulled from, uh, Darkness Ablaze pack opening on my live stream and Rebecca was the one who won this and she actually reached out to me afterwards and said that I could keep this and I feel really bad because it's a really nice card and I like asked her like are you sure and I even offered to like send her other things and she said no like go for it and so this is officially my very first birthday gift for this year and it's amazing and so that's going to sit in the background for a while and it's going to chill and it's going to live there. Okay. So here's our mystery box. Let me raise this up just a teeny bit. We're gonna go ahead and open this. Now, I'll be honest, if we pull a base set pack from this, I'm not quite sure I would open it in this video. I think I would keep it because that's really good. Honestly, if we get any like vintage packs, I probably would keep it. I probably wouldn't open it. I mean, like doing a mixture of like opening things, but also like trying to be one of those long-term collectors who has, you know, things and doesn't just open every single thing just because I have no self-control. Uh, again, I think this box is like around $20 retail price, but I definitely paid way more than that. I do like that they wrapped them in plastic so that you know that you're not getting something that's been tampered with, which is nice because you probably could just repack this and then, you know, but all right, here we go. I'm very excited about this, but I'm also sad that it, that it is, that I had to pay so much on the market. Okay. Should we be surprised or what should we do? Doesn't feel like there's anything extra. Let's just pull this out. Okay. Those are our packs. Oh, I thought we were going to get like extra things. Oh, here they are. So our extra item is a go, a go goat 
hollow rare. It's very curvy, look how bent it is. Um, but that's like the extra like fun thing that you can get. And then of course we got our coin. And then we got our, um, oh, we got a couple code cards. I'll share one code card with you and then I'll save one code card. Uh, let's go ahead, I'll share this code card with you. There you go. So you can use that if you would like for TCG Online. All right, I am don't have a lot of hope based off what I see, but here we go. Well, let's just hold this up. So the first pack that we got is Sun and Moon Base Set. That's pretty basic. Then we got Crimson Invasion, also pretty basic. Then we got a base set of Sword and Shield and another base set of Sword and Shield. So we struck out on that, definitely, because um, none of these are super crazy. Crimson Invasion might be a little bit more intensive right now trying to get your hands on it, but these are pretty basic. We didn't even get like Burning Shadows. That would have been cool. Um, all right, let's go ahead and do this. Let's do, uh, we're gonna go and open these packs because why not? This is a, well, it wasn't technically a pack opening video, but uh, we're gonna open the pack. So I am going to use my scissors and cut these because that's what I've been doing lately. It's been great. It's been helping me not use my teeth, which is nice, and uh, it's a lot cleaner, and yeah. Let's go ahead and start with, uh, we'll do Sun and Moon first. I think that's the oldest of all the packs. Oh, we at least got a white code card, that's cool. So Sun and Moon is four, yeah. Here we go, let's check out what we got. Crushing Hammer, oh, I like that Poliwhirl, it looks super old school. Dragonair, Shelter. Togedemaru, Pleo, Zubat, Carvana, Reverse Hollow, Masquerade, and our rare card is, oh, we got an Espeon GX. Now, I will flash the uh, the value of this card on the screen somewhere. Um, I have been really, actually, I probably could just look it up right now. I've been looking up, um, the, like I, I found, or in TCG Online, you could actually look up the, price list for each set, which was really cool. Like I didn't even know you could really do that. So what set was this from? It was from Sun and Moon. So this is, uh, this is the, I all I searched was like, like you would Google search Sun and Moon card list prices, and then it'll take you to the site and then you can change the set. So we're gonna look for Sun and Moon base set. And then what I like to do is change the market price so it goes from lowest to highest. And I'm gonna scroll down and let's see if, um, so Espeon GX, Secret, and Umbreon are definitely worth the most at $31.45. This is the Espeon GX. So I can't imagine this is gonna, oh, there it is. Oh no, that's the full art, darn. Hmm, so it's probably gonna be not worth that much. So here we go. Espeon GX, they consider this an ultra rare, but I'm still trying to learn those those kind of like definitions. This card is worth two dollars and one cent. There you go. Two dollars and one cent. Don't knock it. Don't knock it. It's a good price. All right, here we go. Should I put this up here? Um, okay, I'll let it go up there. So let's go ahead and do Sun and Moon Crimson Invasion. So this is from the Sun and Moon set. Um, which of course we just pulled. I'll go ahead and share this code card since it's right there. I don't know if they did colored code cards, but that one's green, so meh. Probably not anything good or great, but let's go ahead and check it out. Oh, I like this. If I can actually get this fanny pack, I would, I would wear it. I'd be excited about it. I haven't opened too many Crimson Invasion packs, so these cards don't look as familiar. Um, Miss M Miss McGeeus, Miss McGeeus, Miss McGeeus, uh, Reverse Hollow, and an Octillery Regular Rare. And then we have our two base sets of Sword and Shield. What can you get from base set short Sword and Shield? Oh, see, like, we could look it up. We could look it up right now and see. this. Now, this is just giving us the price list, but you can kind of see the little pictures and you can kind of read. So this is Sword and Shield base set. Let's see, Sword and Shield base set, done. 
So let's see, we're going to do the market price. So what's the most rare card in this set? It's going for $54 and it is a, it's the Zacian V card, secret rare. And then the Zamazenta V secret is going for 43. And then you just have like Marnie Fuller. So there are some pools there. I like, I, I would love like um, a hyper rare Snorlax or Lapras. I don't think those are worth $23, but I just like that, that card, it looks cool. All right, here we go, first pack, oh. Mm -hmm. Well, I won't get my hopes up, because that's a green code card, so. Most likely, nada, but we're still gonna go for this. All right, let's do it. Oops, put that over there, okay, here we go. I actually haven't opened too many. I love this Galarian Ponyta. I haven't opened too many base sets. Oh, I like the Sobble, too, ugh, ugh. Such cute cards. Okay, Quick Ball, Reverse Hollow, and a Drampa. Regular Rare. Let's see it. Yes! Okay. We are in business. We got a white code card, which means we got something. Now, it could just be a Hollow Rare, but it's not because I can see something shiny. All right, do you guys kind of see it? It's kind of picking up. I like this Hop. Huh. I think I like Tierno better, but I like Hop. All right. All right, all right. Blip Bug, Reverse Hollow End. Ah, we got a Delmize V card, okay. This card looks so, oh, Delmize, that's the anchor guy. I think apparently the Pokemon is not, so I made a comment, I was like, oh, Pokemons are like weird things, they're like anchors now. Um, but it's not actually the anchor, it's apparently it's the goop on the anchor. I don't know, somebody wrote that in the comment section, so. I don't know if that's a true story or not, but there you go. All right, do you guys want me to look up what the value is? See, I'm just gonna do live live values right here and now. What do we call this? A Delmize V card, oh, there it is. It's an, see, they consider that an ultra rare. I don't know, I don't know. This card's worth a dollar and 47 cents. There you go, hitting it big. Did we get our money back? Absolutely not, but um, that's what you, I mean, this is the chance that you take, right? If you got, if we had gotten a base set, even an unlimited base set, that would have been good. That would have been like a thousand dollars. So you just have to take that risk. Um, but yeah, you know that's just what happens. It's happened. I don't. I I would love to go watch more people on YouTube and see how many people actually pulled like legitimate vintage packs from this box. All right, guys, that is all I have for you in this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, feel free to click the like button below. If you wanna see more unboxing videos, go and check out my channel. I have a whole bunch on there and you should subscribe. Let me know in the comment section below. One, has anyone seen this in the wild? And if so, how much does it cost? Because again, I've never seen this like in stores. Two, if you have purchased this and you've opened it, what packs did you get? I'd be interested just to see what, what other people got. And uh, three, no matter what packs you got, what kind of cards did you get? Did you get any good hits from this box? There you go. Um, yeah, if anybody ever sees this at Wal, even if you're not a Pokemon fan, if you're ever at a Walgreens and you see this, pick this up for me. Pick them up, and I will I will send you money, and I'll send you everything to ship it. I'll do everything. So if you ever see this, let me know. Hit me up on Instagram or something, and I will. Um, I would love some help from everybody else if you guys see this. Cause I, I want to open this a few more times. And at $20, it's not bad for four booster packs. That's about $5 a booster pack with the chance of, of course, hitting it big. If I had only paid $20 for this, I wouldn't have minded the packs that I got. But of course, because I paid $70 for it. There you go. Um, but yes, let me know all of your thoughts down below. Don't forget, if you subscribe to my channel and your subscriptions are bunch of such a private, you'll make it out of my thank you to subscribers page, which is on pause right now because I haven't done it. But be on the lookout for it. And before we go, we must do the video shout out. I feel like I'm losing my voice because I'm yelling. Today's video shout out is going to go to Jalatsa. That's it. Jalatza, you're getting the video shout out. You just commented 12 minutes ago. Thank you so much for watching, commenting, and supporting my channel. I appreciate all of your support. You wrote, I just watched a switch, uh I just watched a Twitch streamer get two black shiny Charizards in one stream. He freaked out so hard. I really hope you get one because the freak out is epic. I can I can only imagine. I freaked out when we got our Darkness Ablaze Zard. 
One, because I was literally in the process of saying, is there a Zard in the set? I thought there was, but I don't see it. And then we pulled it, like right then and there. It was like, it was like crazy. Um, but yeah, if I ever get a shiny Zard or the Hyper Zard from Champion's Path, I'm going to die. I'm going to go nuts so. But I'm not gonna hold my breath for that to happen because yeah. Anyways, Jalatza, thank you so much for everything. I wanna give you the video shout out. So shout out to you, Jalatza! Shout out to you! I guess it could be Jalatza. Jalatza, Jalatza, Jalatza. Sorry, I'm sorry if I said your name wrong. Alright guys, I hope you have a great day and I will see you guys next time. Bye!